back down here this morning we're going to do some more clearing that section of trees all the way up there in between those two fields uh is the last remaining of the trees to take down around the pond here well it's not really around the pond but something else we're going to take down so got everything piled up last time i was here robert's going to help me today he's on the 220 he's going to go over there and start uh stacking up some brush for that burn pile i'm going to take the 330 and go over there and start working on getting some of those trees down and as you can tell they're really starting to dry out and uh they'll just burn a lot better so everything's nice and sappy and green from springtime so if i can get them down let this wind dry it out everything will just burn a whole lot better so got the 330 up here in the head section of the pond where i've got to finish the clearing robert's going to grab all that brush right there and put it into that burn pile right there stuff's drying out nice and i'm going to start by going right through here taking down a row of brush and uh piling it up because we're going to take out that whole row right there of overgrown mess let's get started let's take some trees down so 330 is working pretty good getting some of these trees down and I pushed over here into a row all i'm trying to do is just get as much down and dry it out as possible so not too worried about breaking stuff up making it look pretty just trying to get it down that way these 80 degree days coming up can work on drying this stuff out so just doing about half on one side half on the other ripping the stuff out and pushing it to the side
wonder why they just kind of left this to get overgrown. It seems like a very nice pasture or field. Kind of seems like a waste to me, so that's why we're clearing it to uh, turn it back into usable land. Because right now, this is just a overgrown mess. Definitely gonna make some good fires though. That is for sure. Somebody asked me why I don't mulch this. Well, the reason is we're trying to turn this back into usable land and mulching is just going to put wood chips everywhere and leave all the stumps. So we don't want that because it's kind of hard to uh, till ground full of stumps plus all the trees will start growing back. Clearing land to use the land, you have to do it this way. my way through here get this stuff taken down and put into rows well I had a tree branch clean grease all over the uh, windshield so I cleaned the windshield for everybody so you can thank me for that it's nice and clean right now It'll last until uh, it gets dusty and dewy just as dirty as it was before, minus the grease. <laughs> so I made uh, made my way through the woods right there, cleared a good little alleyway, and now I'm working on coming up this big tree line. We'll push some of this stuff back, and then uh, head back. Well, I may just run all the way down this tree line and get these bigger trees taken down. And pushed over here to the side. Robert's working on those smaller trees over there now. And uh, getting that stuff pushing, pushed down and broke up. Timber! Right 
definitely has the power.
stopped it. But once I get done with the clearing, we're going to hold off on this job and do the dredging later. I've got to uh, go to another one of his properties and do a bunch of clearing around a cabin. So there's some pretty tricky uh, tree work that's got to be done. So I'm going to take the big machine over there in the 220. Because uh, there's some there's some big big pine trees in there. And, uh, I want to make sure that they go where they need to go. up and shaking some dirt off and getting them broke up and put in the windrow and hopefully it's windy again today but uh hopefully when we get back from lunch i can uh set the camera up outside if the sun's not glaring into it and get you a good little clearing video from out in the mountain that's what I love about these big machines. You can just do that to a 12 inch tree and just break it right up. Break it right up. All right, let's knock some more trees down.
down the last few trees right here, right here on the end. We've got a couple big ones. These bad boys pushed over. And cleaned up. And then, uh, that's, I'm gonna park this machine and jump on the 220 and start stacking up some brush piles. And Robert's gonna go, come behind me with a dozer and clean all that up. Kind of rake over everything. Not exactly where I want that one to go. I have made it to the end right here. As you saw, just pushed these last three trees down. Got those broke up and pushed over here. And we'll let all this stuff sit here and dry for the next few days. Then I'll come back in here with the 220, grab it all, and stack it into a big pile right there. So I think this really opened up this field now. Instead, it was just this one little area right here. Now that all this is gone, it will go all the way across to that tree line right there. So. I think it, uh, it's really going to open this up, make it look nice. So I'm going to take this over there and park it. Uh, see, Robert just got on the dozer. He's going to start raking, and I'm going to finish out the day in the 220, stacking that burn pile up over there. So he's going to rake that area right there and come over here, break through all this. I'm going to grab that pile see if I can't get that a little more condensed up so that uh, when I set it on fire hopefully it just burns all the way down and all I have to do is go around and push up the edges all right let's stack up a little brush here into this one big burn pile 
like it's dried out pretty good. It should burn really good next time we get a big uh, rain. I'll probably come down here and set these on fire. Definitely nice and dusty now though, isn't it? days down here before uh, everything is all stacked up in piles. I got a little bit more clearing to do behind the pond dam he wants me to do and it's going to take a fair amount of time to stack up all that stuff that we cleared today but I'll do that next week once it has time to dry out some. It just seems to burn a lot better if you give it a few days to dry out before putting it all in a pile pile it all of that stuff in the center. I mean, sometimes you don't have no choice. You don't have room. But that stuff in the center doesn't seem to dry out as good, obviously, because it's buried in there and the moisture stays in it a lot longer. So, all right, let me uh, stack this up. So, I got the peninsula all cleared up, all the brush stacked into that big pile all the way around it. So that really clean this up robert's running through that with the dozer root raking it getting all that stuff pushed over here and as you can tell everything all the way up there is cleared like we did this morning so i'm gonna let that sit there and dry out over the weekend and i may run over there and stack that pile up on the way out but that really opened this whole area up right here by getting all that put into the pile so i'll let him finish kind of running around here raking this and uh i'll go uh stack that up over there and we're probably gonna call it a day look at all the gravel that's kind of cool it's almost all like river rock <laughs> 